great to be able to win in straight sets. I thought, you know, everything was working uh, really well and in my favor. Uh, two sets to love the, uh, up and 4-2 and then, you know, things started to change. He had set point. Um, I, I, ser I was serving for, for the match, lost the break. You know, maybe lost a little bit of a rhythm there, and uh, yeah, quite quite close ending to the match uh, with crowd getting involved. So of course it wasn't wasn't easy, you know, uh, to 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 close this match out. But I'm really glad I did in three sets. Didn't want to take this match to the four, four, fourth set. That's for sure. Um, obviously, I, I knew that he's got a lot of firepower. He's an amazing pop on the serve. He's just so dynamic and. Uh, very unpredictable, you know, what comes next. Um, so I just had to stay there mentally, you know, present and calm and, you know, focused on the game plan and what I, what I need to do and be, try to be solid from baseline, which for most of the match I have done and kind of made him play, made him uncomfortable. And uh, overall, the tournament so far has been, has been great. You know, I've been performing very well. Most of the matches went straight sets, except one where I had to come back from two sets to love down. Other than that, you know, performances since Cincinnati first round to, to, to now to the finals have been really, really good. So I'm really pleased with my tennis and the way I feel on the court. And now for the ultimate challenge and fighting for another Grand Slam title. Okay. Ryan Lewis, New York Post. Uh, a, at 36, with the opportunity at least to be the oldest man to win here in the professional era. I'm curious, does this opportunity mean any more to you or do you take it any differently than you might have, say, 10 years ago or eight years ago. And secondly, just the significance of your celebration there, kind of a calling back to his phone call celebration in the quarter. Yeah. Um, well, uh, fact is that at 36, every Grand Slam final, uh, yeah, I don't know. Could be the last one. So I, I think that I probably value this occasions and opportunities to win another slam as more than I have maybe 10 years ago. Because uh, 10 years ago, I felt like, okay, I, I still have quite a few years ahead of me. Uh, I don't know how many I have ahead of me now, or I don't know how many of the years where I play four slams in a whole season uh, do I have in front of me. So. Um, so of course I, I am aware of the occasion, um, but I try I'll try to approach the Sunday's match uh, as basically any other match with intention to win, and I'll play my my opponent and knowing that it's going to be the toughest challenge without a doubt, not just because it's a final, but also because I'm playing, um, you know, the two guys that. Um, the last time I faced both of them in the Grand Slam finals, I lost. Uh, Carlos Wimbledon and then Daniel here in um, uh, 21 uh, US Open finals. So uh, I understand the, the importance of that. And, and of course, they're both in a great shape. But you know, I think I'm, I'm in a very good shape too. So I like my chances. And I just love uh, Ben's uh, celebration. I just uh, I, I thought it was very uh, original, and I copied him. I stole his celebration. So, that work. Congrats on another final. Uh, I, I know you're not one to look too far ahead, but this number that you're chasing here, 24, has some significance with Margaret Court, etc. And I just wondered how much that number in particular means to you. Is there added significance to it? Not really, to be honest. I'm not not thinking about that. Um, you know, as I said uh, in the previous uh, answer to the previous question, I I am aware that um, you know this kind of occasions where I play in a Grand Slam final at this stage is is almost like a present that you know I need to <laughs> accept and try to try to make the most out of it. I was very close to make the 24 in, in London, but you know, lost to a better player on that day in a close five-set match. Uh, I might be facing him actually again here, um, which I, I know that a lot of people wanted, you know, before this tournament started. Uh, considering our rivalry and the matches we played against each other, when every single match went the distance in, in the last um, three occasions we we faced each other. So I'm un I understand I'm, I'm you know. Um, 
every time I'm in, I'm in a Grand Slam final, it's it's a, another shot uh, for history, you know. And and I'm aware of it, and of course I'm very proud of it. But um, again, I, I don't have much time, nor do I allow myself to reflect on these things or think about the history too much in this in this sense, you know, because. Um, when I did that in the past, like 21 finals here, you know, I was maybe overwhelmed with the occasion and opportunity and I underperformed. So um, I don't want this to, to happen again and I'll, I'll try to, you know, just focus on what needs to be done and, and tactically prepare myself for that match. Yeah. Matt.